Hey everyone, um, welcome to the show. <laughs> What's the show? Wait, wait. This is she's she's practicing to be one of the co-hosts. So nothing's I'm wrong practicing. with your screen. This is still two old farts making noises. Not that you're an old right. fart, but then Welcome again, we're not sure. Two old so, farts making no noises. And wh what's our favorite? Wait, 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 wait. What's our favorite city in the world? Uh, we're we're coming out of Austin, Texas. No, no, that's oh, not wait, our favorite no, city. What's our favorite city in the world? Let's see if you got this right. You know this. My favorite city? No, no, no. What's our favorite? New York City. All right, listen. Your I gotta make my. All right, that's not, that's the show's favorite city. So, New York City. I can see David off screen. He's laughing his ass off right now. So, <laughs> Natasha is going to be one of our co-hosts every now and then because she's going to bring artists from Austin, and we have one in the wings, as they say. But Natasha is going to do this, her best British accent to introduce everybody, and then we're going to bring everybody on to talk about this wonderful art charity and art event that we're having tomorrow, which is the twentieth of October here in. Austin, her favorite city, but not New York City. There you go. David, I've got it in twice in under a minute. Thank you. Go ahead. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. <Well, laughs> now the pressure's are. on. We have, we have, we have uh, Gabriel Portillo, um, also known as Pace. He is um, a fabulous artist out of Austin um, who will be joining us at the Taste Market. Uh, live painting, doing a wonderful artwork uh, for you guys in real time, and you'll be able to bid on it. And um, let's let's meet him. Wow, well, that was really. If you were any more excited, any oh. more excitement to that, oh. that was like. And David's, David's still here. She's like, I want to be a comedian. I want to do all this great stuff, and I'm like. Let's go. Okay. So, well, listen, yeah, listen. you're just our like throwing fans, me under the bus. Our, like, uh, no problem. Do it. Our 12 fans expect a lot out of people. Just okay. so you know. So, well, so, I'll, try not to, I'll try not to disappoint him. There you go. <laughs> Gabriel, welcome to our madness this Hello. morning. How are you? We thought about doing this live, but we figured with the, the kookiness of the four of us, maybe we'll record it and just put it up later, just in case. Yeah. Um, so there you go. Hello. So Gabriel, tell us about you. And David does all the serious stuff. I'm just the comic relief. Um, and there, Ser so serious, tell us about you. Serious stuff. I, I, I've been away for five minutes and to come back and there's four of us. Well, I know. <laughs> Congratulations. I mean, I mean, we, we, had a we had a child. I didn't tell you. <laughs> so, and there yeah. she is. So there she is. Oh, wow. So anyway, yeah, <laughs> great to meet uh, an outstanding upcoming Austin artist. <clears throat> Yes, sir. Thanks. Yeah. Pleasure's mine. It's good to meet y'all. Um, yeah. yeah, I am uh, Gabriel Portillo. Uh, my art name is Paste. I came up with it kind of about six years ago, just trying to like create this whole new name. And I wanted to write graffiti because like first time in the city, there's graffiti everywhere. You know, I come from West Texas where there's really not that much graffiti. So like I, I moved here and I created this name Paste and it's kind of just stuck with me for the past six years. Um, but yeah, I am a uh, visual artist. I am a muralist, uh, oil painter, um, kind of the whole creator of uh, visual arts. Yeah, I've been in Austin yeah. for about six years. So yeah, I, I'm sorry for being such a boring old fart, but why isn't? But there... you really are. So. Thank you, thank you, Stephen. Yeah. Uh, um, so are you in New York today, Stephen? Did I miss that? Yeah, yeah. I was saying that it's the greatest oh. city in the world, Please, and okay. apparently our temporary. Hostess. I'm already um, getting fired. <laughs> I didn't remember that the best city on the planet was New okay. York, but that's okay. But, are you from New York, Stephen? It's hard to tell. Yes. Uh, Where are yeah. you from? Yeah. <laughs> Texas. Well, right? Gabriel, so. Gabriel, Gabriel, as I say, I don't want to be so, I don't okay. want to be sort of like a you know a boring old fart, but but why why is there not a lot of graffiti in West Texas? I, I, that I don't understand. I don't. I don't know. Have I you mean, been to West Texas? I mean, you see it. No, it's I thought is that somewhere near the Mexican border? Are we having that discussion again? Yeah. yeah so I, well, I, I, I'm from a I'm from a town called Alpine, Texas, which is about an hour and a half or so from the Mexican border. Oh, so, there you um, go. See, I didn't um, want to get it right in the end. So, but it's a small it's a small like town in the in like the in the mountains in west because like the further you go west, there's more mountains in Texas. Um, believe it or not. Um, but yeah, I guess, I don't know. There was really never that much graffiti. You would see it on the trains as they go by, you know, the trains that are coming from like California and wherever else they're coming from. Are, but... you, are these things that are just tagged then or, or is this? Yeah. Is the, the, okay. 
Yeah, they're 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 pretty so much. I'm, like, I, I'm up with the kids, Stephen. I know this stuff. I, apparently, yeah, I know. You know yeah, right? your, your lingo is on point with this. Stuff. Yeah, <laughs> he's like, is it is it tagged? I'm like, really? Look at you. So, yeah. Glad you read that book. So. Yeah. <laughs> So, so yeah, lots of stuff is tagged, but lots of uh, murals and that sort of stuff, and big pieces not, of art. Not so much. Um, I actually started taking art lessons with one of my grandfather's bandmates when I was in the uh, third grade. So that's kind of whenever this whole art kind of creating thing kind of started to kick was when I was in the third, fourth, and fifth grade. And I moved away and just kind of just ran with it and started taking it seriously about 2016. So, yeah, it's kind of how it all began, I'd say. So, so would you classify yourself, Gabriel, as being a, uh, a street artist then, a, a mural artist, or, or are you working on canvas or other other areas? I'm like a mix between both. I'm a street artist and a studio artist, I would say. I love doing both. You know, I love painting big. I love, like, doing really large murals, very colorful and really nice areas or gritty areas, whichever, you know, just bringing color to the world. It's it's nice. Public art's really, really cool because you get more interaction with, uh, you know, the public and people. So they get to kind of see your work and take it how they want rather than you do a piece, of, a, a piece in a gallery or in a studio. It's like, you know, it's only like people on Instagram or like if you go to a studio or a gallery, then they'll they'll see it. But um, yeah, I'm, I'm kind of mixing between both. Like right now, I'm just working on a bunch of studio paintings for for next month. Uh, East Austin Studio Tour. Austin Very cool. Studio Tour. Right, so, so, here's really a, so here's the question. Well, sure, because there's no East Austin anymore because of the, the hurricane. No, I'm just kidding. Well, it just so. got confusing because there was West and East Studio Tours. Well, we're, we're, we're right. we're not, it's not the 1800s. We're not going to have a civil war in Austin, I don't think. So it's, people, <laughs> are, people here, are, they're too stoned. Anyway, um, <laughs> so tomorrow night, you're gonna. My understanding is, and you unfortunately are stuck with me tomorrow, and my scooter apparently, because according to Natasha, you're in the same Wild, um, Oscar's daughter, um, or granddaughter, I should say. Um, yes, right. Um, I can't. Apparently, David and I can't walk. We just hover. Um, so, will you be doing a live? You're gonna start like a blank canvas, or we're we just gonna grab some like five year old and just paint them up, or what are we doing tomorrow? Uh, night? Uh, so I'm actually gonna stretch a canvas today because like whenever, okay. when, whenever I'm in the studio, I I do all the stretching myself and all the prep work, kind of from literally just the materials, raw materials to a finished painting, pretty much. So cool. I'll do all the prepping today and maybe get like the sketch down. And start a little bit so that way tomorrow I'll hit the ground kind of running with some with some steam and I can finish it within that, you know, three and a half hour window that I have. Okay. okay. Um so yeah, I'll probably hit the ground running with with some of it uh uh primarily done, you know. Nice. Well if you need any help, I draw stick figures like nobody's business. <laughs> so if you need a stick figure on that canvas, you let uh, me know. I'm uh, there. I got you. <laughs> so. You're forbidden from touching the painting. <laughs> That's right. I'm probably I'm probably gonna be forbidden from entering into the thing. There'll probably be a restraining I think we're gonna need extra security. That's right. Well, I think we do. <laughs> um so now the question is, and we've asked this before who's the charity that we're going to actually be raising money? Because there's other auctions going on. I think we have 12 or 13, and we'll have that link, as David likes to do, down here somewhere. Um, probably tomorrow you can see that, but it'll be on this broadcast. Um, but so what's the charity? Because I know the other 12, 13 artists, they're getting the money, you know, after if we everybody gets their cut. So they get like nothing. But the charity that we're gonna do for the oh, we'll give them some money. We'll give that them. We'll give them a true, lollipop. The way, no, no, like. no, that's right. No, they get they get at least two percent because we're very generous. Anyway, the charity gets seventy percent of what we raise with with Gabriel's painting. Cool. So, what's the charity that we've decided that we're gonna do? I already gave you mine. Nobody liked it. Mine was a halfway house for girls that don't go all the way. But apparently, that's not good. So, what's the good one that we're gonna do? Uh, I chose Austin Creative Alliance. Okay. Um, Austin Creative Alliance, and it's they're they're getting they're getting fifteen percent, and Gabriel's getting seventy percent for okay. sure. <laughs> <laughs> just if you want to, I don't know if we need to like, like really call out percentages here, but okay. I just want to clarify that for Gabriel because I don't want him to pee himself or anything. Oh, never mind. I don't know. I don't <laughs> no. know how it goes. Whatever the percentages are, but what we do want to do is we do want to let the people that bid on Gabriel's work tomorrow know. What percentage yeah. really is going to go to the charity? So if it is fifteen percent or whatever, I'm totally okay. I don't. I'm agnostic to it, 
but so if it's 15 percent, i stand corrected so gabriel gets 70 the charity gets 15 and then there's commissions and whatever that go to the other so that's fine that's cool as long as the charity is going to get something we're good and it's and gonna I, go for you know many many thousands of dollars, so the charity will go get a lot of money, right? I've uh, I've worked with ACA in the past. I actually uh, <clears throat> I they let me put on the, uh, like a, a solo show in 2019 in one of their spaces. They let me like completely paint the room how I wanted, and I had a a, a solo show there for about I think it was for about two months. Wow. And uh, I am uh, actually in a residency program with them right now. Um, so that's kind of how I got my, my, my space was through, uh, was through Austin Creative Alliance. This light's weird. That's, that's okay. It looks good though. A lot of people can't <laughs> yeah, look good in a weird very light. Artistic. So, it's very artistic. <laughs> so, yeah. so now let me ask you this, since, you know, David is just amused by this whole thing today. Can you show us I'm some I'm still of trying to work out where Austin is. I mean, I, uh, okay. I... so if, if, if you look at the globe, you're screwed. Is it, so is good it luck on the, is it, is it, it's somewhere near Mexico, Austin? It's very, it's uh, Texas is near Mexico. Where's Austin? Austin's like, we're, we're in the center of the state, I think, right? Oh. I don't know. Oh, you, we, don't, you don't have we a beach call it there. Central Texas. So, do, do you have a beach or not? Well, you can make a beach if you oh. bring in from the sand lake. from the lake. Yeah. Oh, but anyway, lake. let's, while oh. you're still figuring that out with the rest of our 12 fans from, and our global audience, Gabriel, would you like to show us some of your work? And then and and kind of tell us so people can get an idea of what they'll be possibly looking at or bidding on and, and whatnot. Yeah, the 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 work that I'm kind of see where we're at here. Oh, my iPad almost fell. Uh, don't do that. Um, that's another dollar for Apple anyway, because we're just promoting them again. The work that's <laughs> the work that's behind me. This here. How do I switch the camera? This um, is why I like these shows. Okay. By the way, we get so nothing. So this I, is the yeah. best part. Whenever I my my styles like tend to like change from like realism to abstract expressionism to like a bunch of I I I kind of coined this like new style I kind of started doing I call it Western psychedelia. Okay. Yes, it's that's like, exactly how I would describe your art. Hell so yeah. It's like, so it's like uh, yeah. Mix, can, mix can you work. can you buy that in a shop somewhere? That stuff? Is it so like sounds like a perfume or something? <laughs> there's a, there's a shop where you can buy Western psychedelia, and then you see Gabriel's art, even if he hasn't painted it. It's very yeah. exciting. So <laughs> yeah. this is this is like more some like abstract expressionism. I'm kind of mm -hmm. messing around with, and then this is like these are some of my boots that I've been done. I did like a series of boots. Kind of like I think they look so good together. Like Air hall style. Very cool. This is kind of weird. Kind of do this like this. We're gonna put That's those boots, those boots um, at the like market too. There's some more boots. Okay. Um, I mean, for, forgive me for being slightly, slightly, you know, uh, almost rude about your art, but why are you painting boots? <laughs> uh so I'm just kind of like I was just, for, for these. I wasn't. I was inspired by this whole Andy Warhol kick. Oh, yeah, I see. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So re a, repeti a repetitive image of everyday objects. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And and for me, these are actually a picture of my boots. And I grew up wearing boots. Um, my grandfather was a cowboy out in West Texas. So for me, I felt like boots represent like hard work, you know, determination and just like grit, you know what I mean? So that's I kind of want to do a series kind of playing with that and just playing with color and just yeah so it's kind of why i decided to do the boots <laughs> yeah. very cool yeah, I mean, very, I, very don't, don't get me wrong Gabriel. i'm not saying it's good it's good or bad but it, you know just I, like you know it's, I, it was just it, it just i'm just saying how I mean, <laughs> I, but if i went to a gallery and i saw a whole whole load of of paintings of boots in different colors and i kind of get it but i was yeah. i could at the moment i could just see the red one behind you and then we saw the yellow one no okay. yeah they, they, look, they look good whenever they're like hung up you know all yeah four. Together. Yeah, it's yeah. Like, it's they're great. a series. I think they should go together. Yeah, it's a series. I mean, I got some other work in here. Um, serious I, boots. Yeah. Serious boots. So wait, so here, so I'm gonna do. We have a, we have an artist that sends us art every day, and we post it because he shamelessly likes to plug his art, and we shamelessly like to plug it for him because we love him. So you feel free to do the same. However, um, so what do you like? If I want to buy that red boots behind you. What does that go for? Like, what is your art? Like, with with our one artist, we know what his art goes for because he tells us all the time. So, what does your art start at? Like, if someone says, "I want to have an original by Pace," so to speak, 
what does it go for? What's an original start at and where do you uh, orig- I mean, for most, like, I would say, like, my base for, like, commissions is usually, like, around 1,000. So I really okay. won't, I really, I mean, I'll start at, at 1,000. Um, this, like, this is U.S. dollars for everybody who's. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, okay. But, I, I mean, the boots, like, the boots, I kind of, I would do, I, I think I got them at, at 700 a piece. Okay. Um. So, like, my prices just range, you know, from okay. like materials to just like uh, size and composition. Um. I've sold some work for you know quite a bit of money, and then in my earlier days, I was just trying to sell work, you know. Right. I was just like selling. Uh, paper, uh, but... uh, what are the materials you're using there when you're producing the art? Is, it, uh, is that uh, are there oils on canvas or? Yeah. So this is oil. they're all oils. This is my big oil palette that I Ooh. use. Oh, I wait a second. That. Yeah. Let's do this. Just, there you go. Oh. Look at that. He's on his yeah. own now. That's yeah. a beauty. So this is like my big oil palette that I, that I use um, with all my studio works. Um, but yeah, mostly all my studio paintings are all oil paintings. And then if I'm like on a wall doing a mural, it's a mix between spray paint, uh, latex house paint, and just different materials. Yeah. Um, but yeah, and are, are you using a palette to put this stuff on, or you are you painting it on? Uh, in the studio. Yeah, because it, I mean, uh, it looks a little the the boots look a little bit more detailed. Yeah, than the one that the one you have behind you. So oh yeah, two, for sure. Two, yeah, two I'm different sorry. sorts of t- two different techniques you're using. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, taking like this one is more so just like I'm feeling. What if I'm feeling it? I'm gonna go up there and like throw paint and just scatter paint and then cover it up and then draw like you know different straight lines and different kind of textures going on as where like the boots or the boots are kind of like more meticulous you know i'm kind of like focused on the the technique and like the shadows and the highlights and different things like that so i like to like teeter with both worlds i like to like i get kind of bored with one thing not bored but i get like like stag i feel like i'm like stagnant and doing this thing to where i want to like just like just like be free in a, in a sense, you know, and kind of yeah. go crazy with it. So it's kind of like however I'm feeling. <laughs> and you, so, you, sorry, Steve. Go, no, go ahead. No, you, you said earlier on okay, well, about uh, public oh. art. I mean, is that how, how do you define public art? Is that, is that art in a public place or is this, or is these are wall, wall murals that you're doing um, because there happens to be a space and you, you, nobody's asking you to do, to do it. You just, putting your art up there so yeah i would say I would, I would say both it's uh it's art in a public uh setting and like murals which are mostly in public settings unless it's a, a residential mural you know yeah so they're both kind of tied together and, and one would one would be commissioned and the other one you're freestyling is that uh, is that how um, you see? well yeah i was i i really don't do much of the like illegal Street art, I guess you could say. <laughs> I used to, I'd done it a couple of times and I actually got caught once. So after that, I was like, nah, <laughs> not for me. Um, but yeah, most of the, most of the, the pub, my, I speak it for myself, most of my public murals and public art is uh, commissioned through a third party or a client, you know? So yeah. Kind of like what we're doing tomorrow almost. We're commissioning for a charity. Yeah. That doesn't, that apparently doesn't even know they're about to get money. Till they see this broadcast, and that'll be awesome. <laughs> yeah. So that'll be very cool. So, if someone wants to buy your art, where do they go? How do they find you? Like um, well, I, I, ha- I have my website. It's kind of that's a mess right now. Um, so okay. my my primary source of uh, like getting to talk to me is either through my email, which you can find on my Instagram. Okay. Or uh, well, I, would you yeah. like would you like to shamelessly plug, plug it right now? Because somebody yeah, you know sure. could be watching. It's, uh, at it's kind of weird. It's at underscore period uh, paste. I couldn't just do regular paste. It was taken, but under, at underscore period paste. And, and that's your Instagram. Yeah. And that's my okay. Instagram. It'll, it'll be uh, Gabriel Portadillo. You'll, it's like a picture of me painting against a wall. You'll be able to see it. Very nice. Um, but yeah, it's kind of on Instagram. And then I've done some work with some galleries in the past that like will contact me to kind of do some work for them. And yeah, so it's kind of word of mouth kind of thing you know I've, I've done some work with a couple agencies around town to where i'll get random texts and random jobs through them so that kind of that helps a lot so the stuff that's hanging up behind you and in the other rooms the everything there is for sale i'm assuming yeah everything is for sale um i just finished yeah. up this uh this painting right here let me grab it 
this is like a conceptual piece. It's tequila spilt on a red tablecloth. So it's kind of like. Oh, very nice. So this is like a, a kind of minimal painting, I would say. But it's like I mean, when you see it in person, it's it's pretty cool. It's like got all the details. But this is tequila spilt on red tablecloth. So Very nice. Yeah. Now, what would what would that painting like that? <clears throat> excuse me. Go for to kill on a red on a red tablecloth. I got that one. I want to say eleven. Eleven. Eleven dollars. That's awesome. I'll take six. So yeah. eleven hundred U.S. people. Calm down. I agree. Yeah. David got all excited. He was counting his fake <laughs> euro money. Huh. And it, and I mean, it, it seems like super simple to go for some to go for that price. But I mean, I'm I am I I love it, and it's. I think it's a cool painting once you see it in person and kind of like hang it on a wall and yeah, yeah it's kind of, it's cool. And Natasha, <laughs> do we have any of his stuff being auctioned or is he just doing the one painting tomorrow for the charity? So we hadn't fully got a chance to establish that, but I'm definitely open to that, Gabriel. Well, um, oh, I, I can bring some of the smaller pieces that I have laying I mean, I was thinking you definitely need to bring your, your boots and put those okay. up in the... Um, or he can wear his boots, but either way... I'll be, I'll be both. I'll, okay, I'll be wear both. your so boots, you bring the yeah. boots, you know. Y'all can see what's up. No, I can, yeah, I can, I can, I can hear a song. <laughs> I can hear a song coming on, I think. But I think we should get hey, Nancy like Sinatra to, like to sing a song. You can... If you can sing, these boots are made for walking while you paint. Now you got something. I'm just saying. So they're too young to know Nancy Sinatra. I, think. I do know Nancy Sinatra. You know her personally? She's still alive. I liked her. And her dad was yeah. a great guy. He hung out with, you know, Sammy and all those guys. Anyway, that's another story. Um, all right. So if you want, Gabriel, there was, put him on the spot. If you want to take us around your studio, feel free to show us some of your art. Um, How and yeah. we can maybe somebody will say, "Hey, I want to buy that." And if push comes to shove, you can always reach us here, the two old farts, and we will I, how facilitate I, how that. I, how do I turn my camera around on here? Let me just take it off. So you can do this. There we go. Okay. All right. So we're gonna give Gabriel a solo shot as he's yeah. gonna tour the the gallery for everybody. I'm, I'm I'm really glad, Stephen, that we're not the only ones who don't know anything about technology. About technology, no. It might, this be, is great. it might be easier if I just put y'all back on here and I just bring them the artworks what? in here. Can sure. I can do that really uh, quick? Yeah. yeah. That, whatever you'd like, my friend. This is all, we're yeah. promoting you. So. Okay. I uh, and our fan, and our fans know that we have no clothes, so we're good. I'll be I'll be, so, really, I'll be right no back. No problem. <laughs> Okay. The other thing that uh, we also have. I want to hear Natasha uh, talk now, or Natasha. I'm sorry, Oscar's daughter speaking a British ah, accent because that's. Is she, is she, she going to? Are you going to do a British accent for us again? Right. Oh wow! <laughs> you know, listen. I hear you want to be a stand-up comic. We're trying. We're giving you. This I never said that. I, I never I, said I, that. I, First I heard of all, you. I did not know you were listening to that conversation. I listened to everything. So. Yeah. <laughs> So um, I said that other people say that occasionally. No, no. What I heard was other people say you should be on a stage, and there was one leaving in ten minutes. But we love you to death, so we yes, want. We, and they're going to like, take the cane and pull that, me off of it. That's right. I think you're very funny, so um, I think that's what we want you yeah. to have a showcase with us, so you can be. So as you bring artists on, and you, should, you know, you could actually ask a question. Um, jump in and talk and do and be you. And sure. the, 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 the nice thing about it, of course, is that everybody will think it's me after I've had a face right. I know, because you're getting to that point. Maybe yeah. if I just had like a script of things that David says, you know, then oh, I can like... David, I dribble, I David dribbles and he nods off. So if you can master those two things, congratulations, the job is yours. I just yeah. feel like this is already crashing and burning before we started. <laughs> yeah, well, 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 welcome, to, welcome to our world. There you go. <laughs> All right. Gabriel's here to tell us something. All right, Gabriel, yeah. we kill time for you. What do you got? Yeah, so, so most, most of these paintings are they're a little bit older. Um, a lot okay. of my newer work is like showing around town in different spaces. Um, so this is kind of some work I've done within the past, I'd say like seven months. Okay. Here. So this is, I did like a series of hand paintings. Okay. Um, I was like trying to paint hands. Oh, right awesome. So oh, there. very cool. Oh. So this one is actually my hand and my rings. Um, so this one's called okay. wherever, the, wherever the Wind Takes Me. Yeah. Okay. Um, am, I, am I correct in thinking that, that, that hands is one of the most difficult things uh, to draw and to paint? Yeah, um, that's yeah. what everyone says. And I'm like, I try to like show everyone that I can like paint anything pretty much to like a a, a, a good level on a high level yeah so there's this one as well another hand painting 
Very I nice. I love that. That is very nice. Yeah. There's that one. My last time painting that I have from the series, most of them are gone, is this one. Very Dang. pretty. Oh, wow. That hyperrealism is. So, yeah, yeah. Look, so like, looks like, like, like yep. Dracula's daughter. I'm obsessed. The shadows. <laughs> like I was saying, like I try. Oh, to that's show. a that's a whole other show. We're not going on down that show. That you're <laughs> obsessed with shadows. <laughs> <laughs> that's a ra that's another rabbit hole. Wait, wait. But you were saying, see, because she's like a real art person, so she was talking about the textures and the stuff of that. So ah, why sorry, do you like that quiet, last no. hand? Why no, no? Why do you like that last hand painting? Because I mean, was... I, I well, and I mean, and this is personal. I. I really, I'm also a photographer, so I, the shadows always really excite me. So the fact yes. that you captured that yeah. in like a really beautiful way. I mean, it, it is, I don't know. It's like kind of like the, the, the secondary um, vision of what you're seeing. That's why I really like shadows. You're like seeing it twice in a different way. And then I just love your color choice too. It's all monochrome. So yeah. it's beautiful. Thank you. So that was kind of like my hand series I did. And this is like a whole different kind of minimalist, working with shape, working with color. Uh, with these paintings, there's a sister paintings almost. Oh, see, I like that. I can relate to that. So Yeah, these are all oil paintings too. Um, so okay. this is all oil. There's this one and then this big sister. Uh, oh, wow. Very nice. <laughs> This one, very, very nice. Um, which can go however you really want it to hang, really, you know? Ooh, I kind of like it that way. I like this. I like it all the ways. <laughs> That's a whole nother show, by the way. All the so, way. Yeah. There's those. Is this uh, for kids or? <laughs> nope. None of our shows are Definitely for kids. Definitely not. Okay. <laughs> this one is kind of a, this was like an experiment. This is a kind of a photo of me and my buddy in New York City. Ooh. Oh, wait, we lost them. There we go. So I see, kind of, I see, there we go. This was like the start of this Western psychedelia. Even though it's not so much Western, it's kind of psychedelic with the colors. I, this was like the first one that I started really like. Most of my work now has a lot of these colors involved in right. most paintings. So this was like an experiment to try and uh, yeah, I like how you're figure out how it works. I mean, it's very like um, uh, hmm. just the profiles, just like the. You know, it almost doesn't have any depth at all. But then on the shoulders, you do see the shadow coming through. At the, yeah. yeah. So this is me, and then this is my, my one of my buddies. Um, Very cool. Yeah, I got that one. And then this one's an old self-portrait of me. Well, I guess not that old. It's done in uh, 2020. This is a self-portrait of myself. Um, Very nice. This one's really not for sale. I just kind of wanted to show it. That's super cool. Um, that is very cool. That almost is Dolly-ish. And I mean that yeah. in a good way. Yeah, yeah most definitely. Moment. And this one can also hang however. Very nice. The viewer would like. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so this is kind of, there's really not that, and then all my, all my, all my boot paintings, which I've showed. Um, what a pro. Very, very cool. Good. Uh, we didn't mean to put you on the spot, but I'm glad we did because you have no, some beautiful awesome. stuff. I, I think some, other, I think people need to see it. Got some other random pieces that I'm kind of just like like once again, this is like a mix of different styles, you know, just like messing around, having fun, really. Um, yeah, this some Jackson Pollock s kind of stuff, you know. Very nice. Yeah. Having fun, like this one, I was just like pissed off one day. I put a big canvas outside on the wall and I was just like literally just like throwing canvas. Yes, I love doing that. Getting my emotion out. So this is like a, a sliver of a huge like canvas that I stretched out. But... So cathartic. Yeah, it's kind of uh, um, like I said, a lot a lot of my uh, newer pieces are I got I, I showed some work this past weekend. I got some other work just kind of in random spots around town. So most of those are like out and about. But these are kind of the ones I got laying around my. But if you are in Austin, you have murals up at the Moody Art, the Moody Center, and the the line, right? Yeah, I have. I just got just finished that well in July, but uh, oh, excuse me, I have them. Yeah, I have some murals up at, at the new Moody Center, the Line Hotel, uh, at these like abandoned buildings that we got commissioned to paint on East Seventh. Mm -hmm. I got a mural of Kobe Bryant and his daughter on like Research Boulevard up north. I've seen it. And uh, like 
three or four murals out in West Texas, out in Marfa and Alpine, Texas. Very cool. So. Marfa is a I... great art town, by the way, for those of people who are not familiar with Texas. It's like a little art mecca. Is it? How far is it from Austin? It's oh, like, about, it's like uh, six and a half hours. Oh, yeah. I'm going to go there tomorrow. Yeah. So, <laughs> so I like we went to Fredericksburg, or one of those little towns outside of Austin. And yeah. it's like a little arty thing. You see Fredericksburg, everybody thinks I'm in Virginia. But yeah, there's like a whole bunch of these little art things and wine things all around Austin, which is very cool. So anything where there's art, like when I go to New Mexico, I go up to Taos because mm -hmm. it's all the art. It's all the communal things. So it's very cool. So I, I like that. But um, no, your stuff is Lockhart. beautiful. Lockhart's a really good little art right. art town. It's like tiny, tiny town, but right. um, nice little staycation destination. And they actually have like three art galleries in this tiny strip. I'm like, yeah. wow. How do you I've, actually, uh, I've actually showed some work at Commerce Gallery in Lockhart. At Commerce? Yeah, I love yeah, them. And I've done some work for the owners of that place, but. Yeah, they're cool. They're nice. Can I, can I be really controversial and um, say that if I had what, this to, this is going to stop you. Bring now. it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, I just say what well, you know. If you offered, if you offered me a range of your work, Gabriel, the, the last one I would take from you would be the the um, the Pollock, uh, okay, ish thing you did. Yeah, it's yeah. for me. It just it's just not you. And, oh yeah, and. and what I really liked about the other stuff that you, the, the, it has that color palette. We touched a very, uh, we're earlier on, I think earlier this week, I think when we spoke to Miss Wild about uh, colors in, 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 in sunny, sunny Texas, there has, it, it, there is a color palette, which you don't see certainly in this part of Europe. And when you see it, it, it keeps coming back into your work. You know, it's this, I don't know, this sort of slightly, earthy yellowy color and uh, mm -hmm. the pinks the sort of colors that you get if you were painting a, a you know a building that had been left out in the sun uh, mm -hmm. taking the sun for for half a year or so and yeah, yeah I, that i liked a lot better the other one i just thought well yeah okay so you were pissed off and but no know. i'm well, I'll with you on that that's why it's still yeah like, it's art corner. isn't it it's art so one yeah, likes it's it's that it's still over here in the corner and it hasn't like corner. i haven't i haven't touched it or anything so I, I don't know what to do with it you know i'm like looking at it i'm like yeah i did this but it's like like you yeah. said it's really like not kind of like me it didn't be, yeah. yeah yeah but that, but that was yeah. just me of course no, the, I, other, the, other, the other stuff um but well i mean yeah. i kind of want to just bring just chime in here because like go on go on chime, chime. i have so many missions you'll hear me talk about missions all the time <laughs> um one of missions is to make sure that people understand that everyone gets to be an artist like it's not like just exclusive to those with talent or right. have who have studied um you know art is a super therapeutic thing to do if you're throwing paint on a canvas um because you're upset that's awesome um that's emotion and it's like it's a great way to get that out it's like literally like we'll be we'll take it out of you um yeah. I've, I've taken a charcoal like piece of charcoal and just like gone all over a piece of paper before with like my anger and then just like cover it and it's just like okay cool well that's done you know so you should do it david try it like seriously <laughs> you'll feel awesome um and you never know you might come up with something that you like you know? No, well, and, you know, I, I have trouble painting a wall, but um, so <laughs> no, to, go back, just, to, to go back to go back to what you said about color, we do a, we we have a lot of artists from South Africa, so a lot of your colors, like the hands and the self portrait, and some of this reminds us of a lot of the guys we and the ladies we deal with out of the African art, mm -hmm. out of South Africa, because they use a lot of vibrant colors, like um, yeah. for Muhammad. It comes to mind because of his stuff. So there's a lot of that. When I see that, it's like, oh, okay. It's not the typical art that people think they're going to go see. No, so yeah. that's that's right. why it it it's it pops, for lack of a better term. So I think it's very cool. I think awesome. we're seeing a lot of that in contemporary art lately. You know, um, a lot of psychedelic color usage, and I mean, just more more bright colors in general. I've seen that. Um, quite a bit with newer artists. I mean, I think part of it's just like the colors that are available now are just, right. you know, they're all over the place. I was thinking when I saw your art, Gabriel, it reminds me, I don't know if you've ever seen like a UV like spectrum pictures of like flowers or anything like that, but Google it y'all, um, everyone who's listening, y'all. 
Um, <laughs> I am from Texas, not New York. <laughs> welcome, from t welcome to Texas, everybody. Right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but it's like, it does have those like um, very like neon colors, you know, and, and it's like you perceive that almost like in a way without, yeah, without yeah. having to look at it, which is That's so cool. cool. Yeah, maybe, maybe my, just my way of looking at it is a little bit, a little bit more primitive because I, I, I can feel the warmth. When I, mm -hmm. it, it kind of, you know, if I think of, if I have this sort of, I've never been to Texas, uh, but, but you know, like, if I have this sort of movie image of what it could be like, you know, and um, and it would be, it would be all of those colours, and that's mm -hmm. why yeah, the Pollock uh, is one for me. Will, you know, sort of you know, disappointed me somewhat. I thought, oh, I hope you don't go down that street because yeah, the, <laughs> the, 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 the other way you were going was was yeah it su suited me better. But do hey, you like you Pollock? Know? David? Yes, like, I do. Yeah. Do? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. It's not like I'm 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 anti. Um, anti but it, wow. No, no. No. I mean I'm I mean I mean not everyone likes it. Listen, you know? David's yeah. in I mean, Holland, everybody. Direct all your cards and letters and anger yeah. to Holland. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I mean uh, I, I talk a lot of bollocks, so I suppose that must that, be uh, Oh that, my yeah. god. Bollocks about Pollock. There's a new podcast. There you go. There you go. Bollocks about Pollock. Yeah. That'll yeah, be I the can, next I, show. Gabriel's like, thank God I'm not going to be on that show. Yeah. So. yeah. Okay, um, the, law, the lawyers are queuing up to get me on that one. I can tell you. Yeah. There you uh, go. But, but no, no, it's, it's, it's not that. I don't know. It's just, I, I, I yeah, I, I, I didn't want to be rude about, about the boots. I didn't get it when I saw the first one. When I saw the second one and then the third one, he said, yeah, this is in the sort of theme for the, the repetitive um, you know, consumer product, but this happens then mm -hmm. to be a personal product, which mm -hmm. was that love that twist on it with these wonderful color palette. I thought, hey, you know that, ah, oh, yeah, that, that's 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 the the warmth that I would expect from 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 you know if I was somebody said to me, this is Texan art. Yeah, but definitely. you know, well, I I don't know anything about art. I just know what I like. Um, so and I'm trying to, I'm trying to like do my spin on what like the whole Western art that you see is mostly like cowboys and. You yeah, know, Native Americans and different right. things like that. But I'm trying to like do my twist on that and like bring a different like my kind of style with that and modern western. Like my uh yeah, like modern western, like I don't know, I'm trying to bring my my spin on that. Cause like I was saying, like my grandpa has told me stories from him being a cowboy and I've painted my grandpa several times and but like in my style with old pictures from back old back. Oh, back. is that the one where you the cowboy sitting and leaning back? Um, uh, that one is your a photo Instagram? I, that's a photo I took of this singer at this festival that I was painting at and he was just like chilling and like looks picturesque so I asked to take a photo and uh, painted him but yeah I've painted my, my grandfather several times in the past but do you have any of those like no nah, they're at one's in at the gallery in Lockhart and then the other two are actually sold they're out of here very that's nice. that. so, that's that's the words we like to hear from artists. It's yeah. been sold. sold love, yeah. love, love to show you it's my art. It's all been sold. <laughs> do you like to make? Do you like to make prints of your art? Is that or are you against um, it? I I really I'm like I do prints very uh, like often. Uh, not often. I I don't I don't I don't do them often. Uh, I, don't, I don't I don't really don't know why. I don't know. Is that due to just yeah? I like to. No, like, I just I just think uh, the boots would be would, would make a great series of. of yeah. It you would. Know, um, yeah, yeah. Put like it together. Certain, yeah, paintings but, I'll, certain paintings I'll I'll do like a limited edition run. Like I did a painting uh, like in earlier in the in the summer, and I made like twenty prints of those. But like they're like very limited edition. Like I really won't do prints again or for that painting. But I think you're right. The boot series. Um, yeah, I mean that, that 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 would be something you hung hung it up at the shop in Europe. And people yeah. would America think, oh, that's Americana. I have to have that. Let me, uh, let me, let me, then, let me like stagger them all together so you can see them together. Very cool. Yeah, do that. that, 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 that together. I would almost okay. like if, if you made a print, I was about to say, if we made a print, I'm just like, well, you know, if you make you. a print, you would do it almost like our little box here. You do the four, like the Andy Warhol, where exactly. you did the Campbell soup and the yeah. Marilyn Monroe's and all. You do that. And then now I think that's the statement you're And making. then that's the, that's the yeah. print. Yeah, totally. But if you do, and then if you think if you do that, and I think to David's point, whether it sells on, it sells as um, in Europe or it sells as merch on our site, wink, 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 um, or we sell it at the at the festival tomorrow or at another time we auction that off. I think that would sell very cool. Yeah. Yeah, so. I think it's I mean, great. Because that, that just screams Americana for me. Yeah. So, 
Yeah. You can kind of see. Yeah. All right, well, hold on. Yeah. We're going to see it really cool. There you go. Let me bring this down. There Sorry. you go. I'm like maneuvering. There you go. <laughs> this is this is this is why this is better than a live show because it's recorded live. Like how they all work together. Yeah. See, I like that. I think you're yeah. right, David. I think those I think those sell as a as a as a print or as a, or a limited okay. edition litho or a poster. I think people would buy those like there's no tomorrow. I yeah. I also think it'll go great on a t-shirt as well. Yep, I agree with that. So um, yeah. Because hey, but we're just gonna we're just gonna become your marketing team now. So we'll, hey, so. I, I need a I need I need a marketing team. <laughs> marketing so. is so weird on Instagram. I feel right. like now it's like post, 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 real, 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 hashtag, hashtag, hashtag. Right. Like, Shit, man. Like I don't I don't want to post today. You know. <laughs> yeah. Well, if you let me adopt you, I'll help you with that. <laughs> I, I there you go, and we're and we're going to help uh, Miss Wild as well to to uh, try and promote everything. Yes, only because we like her. Guys. Only because we like her. <laughs> only because we like her grandfather. That's it. Yeah. Uh, so. yeah. I so wish I could she, I, with she, Oscar Wilde. That would be super cool. No, I, 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 and she, you know, I'm, no offense she's so, to my actual she's so, grandfathers she, who are. She's so nice. great wow. at putting the garbage out as Listen, well. Listen, she yeah. literally threw us under the bus the last show. Just threw her grandfather's under the bus this show. This is like she's she's the perfect like daughter. I see that. <laughs> so. Oh yeah, you have no idea. <laughs> oh no, your parents called. We talked anyway. So no, your stuff, my friend, is gorgeous. Um, thank you for doing the impromptu and showing us around and everything. Tomorrow, you and I will be in the tent together. I apparently will be heavily sedated with security um, with my stroller, according to Miss Wild. Um, but we will show, we'll have a camera on you while you're painting and creating cool. so people can see it. And you can, if you want to talk about it, cool. Or I'll ask you some questions or I'll leave you alone. Like I said, if you need me to draw a stick figure, I'm there for you. Yeah. Um, um, and then we'll go from there. And then in between, I guess. 5 30 and 6 tomorrow austin time and till about 8 39 o'clock we'll have the auction and we're going to let everybody know if it's going to run late which means we may close it on noon on friday and if not it'll end when the event ends so we'll give you those details tomorrow live on the show and we'll be broadcasting live i guess on youtube and 50 other places so if you want to can't make it to austin want to buy some art the perfect thing there'll be a link down below that'll be live tomorrow um, when you're watching this, so it'll be Friday or Thursday, I'm sorry, that you can go and see the art and place bids ahead of time. And that's really it. I think other than that, I got nothing. So anybody else? Oh. Well, you know, I mean, uh, we're, we're all shocked at the fact you have nothing else to say, Stephen. Well, <laughs> First of all, that's never the case. Second of all, I'm trying to be, I'm sure, because this is a new format. I'm being more you try, professional. You, I was going to say, did you hear that? He's trying to be professional. That, and I think... Uh, and I think on that on that statement, we're killing time, the broadcast as of now. It's time, yeah, it's, like, no, it's time to say it's one. just time okay. to say goodbye, everybody. Thank you, Miss Wilds. Thank you, Gabriel. Thank you, guys, thank you so much. Um, Cheers, everybody. Tasty's Tasty's market tomorrow.